Well, Shamai, I can't believe I'm back yet again. How inspired am I at the moment? And I'm creating another layout using my rainbow stash busting kit. And I'm actually doing a challenge set by Danny V. She has recently hit 4,000 subscribers on her YouTube account. And there was a bit of a, um, a YouTube hop. And she set a challenge to use some of her prompts or to scrap lift one of her pages. Well, actually, I'm using four of her prompts and I'm scrap lifting the page she did to celebrate. So I'm using um, pink and mint, which she set as one of her challenges, using a pattern paper as a background, using ink splatters and either Nouveau drops or enamel dots. And I'm using the Nouveau drops. So, here we go. I'm using this ancient piece of paper, which I'm sure has been in my collection. Must be 10 or 11 years now, as the background one. This gingham one is like a, a grungy gingham one by Mag Magnolia Inc., who used to do the stamps. They probably still do the stamps, but I haven't used them for years. And I've trimmed a half an inch off the mint paper, which is Chamel Head in the Clouds, I think. And I'm going to attach that to the gingham background. I've gutted the centre of the paper because obviously I'm trying to get as many layouts as possible. The way I do this, I stick some double-sided tape across where I want to stick down. But I lift a little corner because the number of times I've stripped it all off and I haven't stuck it straight. Whereas at least if you're going to go a little corner, you're much more likely to be able to pull it off. So Danny V used like a bit of a wreath shape, I suppose, which is what I'm drawing now. I'm just using my biggest um, die cutting circle for my Big Shot Plus. And I'm scrapbooking this photo of my mum and dad. And I can remember the day clearly we were at a Thomas the Tank Engine steam day. Because my nephew absolutely adored Thomas the Tank. And we had travelled miles for this from the caravan. We had, it was myself, my mum, my dad, Tom my nephew and two dogs so we took up quite a lot of room on the train as you can imagine so I'm just back in this photo now just to lift it off the um, the mint as you can see I use a rotary trimmer for matting or for just cutting the papers but then to get them I use either my Fiskars one or my Stampin' Up trimmer my desk has got quite a few trimmers I'm dying to, to use up this washi strip um sheet but because they're um because they are washi tape and they're very thin you could see everything through it so i'm going to stick it on some white and use it as more of a bit of a a die cut embellishment and the thing that i just sort of tucked behind there looks like a, um it looks a bit like a sticky note i suppose that was from a cutout sheet so i'm trying to use all these little bits and pieces so i'm rummaging now for more things and I do like these tags. I like this sheet of tags. But I think I said in my previous video, because it's very thin, I find the paper pads much thinner paper than when you buy the full collection of individual 12 by 12 sheets. So um, these tags are very good for going behind something. But I don't think they'd stand up to much if they were used as the main embellishment. So once again, I'm going to use the circle die, the circle that's a bit too big really but I'm going to put that behind there just to sort of lift my piece of paper oh, sorry my photo off the main background I did take out some teal but it didn't really go with my photo in the end so I'm using my Flamingo Kitsch um, Distress Oxide Spray for my uh, paint splatters, I couldn't think what they were called then, ink splatters, it dries incredibly quickly. And I have cut the butterflies out of the Paige Evans, um, I think it's, is it Wonders? I think, I don't know whether there's like a, a collection of all her papers, because it, it just says Paige Evans on the outside. So I'm going to use some funky foam now to lift my picture up. I don't have to worry about adding too much glue because there's not an awful lot of mixed media in the background and there's no gesso on it anyway. It's unusual for me to stick to two um, muted colours really. A very different layout than the first one I've done from the kit. I'm feeling so inspired by using my own kit. I love, I love having kits but sometimes 
you, you get a bit lazy and you don't use the stuff that you've actually got in your stash. So I'm now trying to uh, use them up. So this little washy die cut ephemera piece now I've created, I'm going to lay on there just a tiny word sticker, which is also one of her prompts from Danny V. So actually I could have done five. Look at that. And then I wanted to use this Hello Love as um, my title. But at this point I hadn't worked out a word to put them. So for my butterflies, I usually curl their wings around either a paintbrush or a round pen. And I'm just going to lay those along the wreath. I'm at this point looking for my mechanical eraser, one of the best things I've invested in. But I say me, I had actually had it as a Christmas present. And it wasn't that expensive, it was only about £9. Oh, it's fab. It is so much easier. It doesn't smudge at all. And it's so easy to get... Um, either little ink bits that you don't like, you didn't want where they were, or uh, to rub out pencil in the background. So I'm going to speed through in a second and you'll see my my circle of butterflies almost complete. So I wanted them to fly as if they're both sets of them are flying towards the title. So they're, they're going to meet in the middle, if that makes sense. So here we go. You can see what I've done. I've got some come in from the left to the right and some from the right to the left I think I think that's how I the best way to describe it so I'm just looking for some more embellishment pieces here I do like mint and pink together so I'm glad I went for that sort of colour prompt and as I say I am loving using up some of my stash and it's nice to work with a limited amount sometimes I know I said that in my last one I'm just going to try and find something to back the little title up now but I picked up this little flower but it was slightly the wrong colour pink then I loved the flowers in the collection but I found that they were a little bit too big for the page I do find that a lot of die cuts like they have gone really big and they're a bit overpowering then so in a second I'm going to use a little um like mint green or teal chipboard frame that I added into my kit. I'm going to use that then just to create a little cluster in the corner. As you can see I didn't I didn't stick it on straight the first time. So I'm just going to put some foam pads on there now to lift it up to the same layer and then I'm level sorry and then I'm just going to add that in the middle and then I'm going to add some butterflies to the frame to pretty it up a bit more the last two that I'd cut out as you can see I, I limited the color of the butterflies that I cut out now I'm going to add nouveau drops around the circle they're a bit hard to see on screen but it actually in real life it looks really nice with the white dots I'm just adding some more little things that's an ampersand there and then the next thing I'm going to challenge myself to use and I'm so glad I found room for it is the little tassel which I said obviously I always think of exotic dancers not that I've seen any exotic dancers in real life I don't even think in that you know that's the place I spend my weekends I'm going to add two of these smaller flowers from the Paige Evans Wonder collection from the die cut set because they match the colours really well and sometimes it's hard to know when to stop I do find that with some layouts. And only you're thinking, ooh, do I need to add any more? And sometimes you have got to just say, Nicola, step away from the desk. It's done. So I'm looking through all the other little stickers. And then I'm thinking, where do I put this little fluffy tassel? And luckily enough, because I'd made the centre of that circle so big, I added it in there. So I've got some close-ups coming up soon. Thank you so much for joining me yet again. And I shall have another layout coming soon. Thank you, everyone. Hoi vow.